Well, good morning, everybody. How are you doing? It's um, mid-May now, so my last couple hikes were really, really hot. This weekend's supposed to be pretty cool. I'm actually supposed to get snow tonight, so we'll see. We'll see what happens there. I'm uh, yeah. I mean, it, it's not gonna snow today. It's supposed to be later tonight and stuff. Hopefully, it doesn't like rain or anything on me. Um, we're just cruising, you know. Just parked the truck, mm, maybe 150 yards away, and uh, we're out looking for elk and deer. And 150 yards, and I've got a nice six-point elk shed right in front of me, right after parking. So, it is a really cool looking ATL too. So, thank you for watching DTO Outdoors. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the subscribers. Thank you for watching the videos. Um, making this stuff and seeing that people actually watch it and hit some likes and some comments. It makes you feel good about, you know, what you're doing. And appreciate it a ton. So, thank you everybody. And let's go check out this shed. Okay. Look how cool looking that is. Look at him just <laughs> sitting there. Tines down, stuck in the dirt. Now that is awesome. Looks like he has some decent mass on the main beam. Oh, there's his third back there. I was like, where did his third? He didn't grow a third. But yes, he did. Yes, he did. Wow, this is amazing. I mean, I, I've i been hiking <clears throat> all of, I think, three minutes. All of three minutes. And here we go. So, let's go ahead and show him off. All right, here we go. Here's to uh, three minutes of hiking. This is awesome. I never found an elk brown within three minutes of hiking. I found one within seven to 10. Uh, yes, that feels good. He's got all kinds of cool. Oops. Sorry, I just whacked y'all with a flipping tree branch. There he is. <laughs> nice. How awesome is that? You can't beat it. <clears throat> Decent bull. Very nice. <laughs> He's just got so much up in here. He is just so rad. Still got dirt on his sword from where he stuck into the ground. Pretty cool beam. Look how he's starting to get that wave. Ah. Oh. That is what it's about. Oh, that is cool. Okay. I'm uh I'm gonna put him on the pack, but then I'm going to maybe kind of continue here and then make a loop up and go around and then probably just drop him off at the truck. I mean I just started. So you know, maybe a six pound shed. Probably about six pounds, I'd say. Ooh, might be six and a half. But great way to start the day. Thank you all for watching. And hopefully today can be pretty sweet. Catch ya. Well, I am uh, always start these off saying well. I apologize for that. So I am, 
I made a loop kind of up to where that draw ended into another mountain was coming up over and crossed a set of boot tracks walk in that way so then I am just taking this top ish and working my way back around to see if maybe I can find that match I hope the audio is okay it's a little breezy today but I just found one he looks about the same size this one's a right I think that other one was a left I don't know let's go see there he is looking all cool just hanging out chilling right here yes I bet it is <laughs> yeah <laughs> he was gonna start spurting the six this but he'll 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 get that this year but this is a five that was a six could have easily easily been a, a five by six so I'm gonna like I said I, I, Man, I honestly don't remember if this one was a left or a right now. But. We got two. So let's check them out. There they are, side by side. That other one. Yeah, those are different bulls. Those are definitely different bulls. See how he comes up and goes hooky? And this one goes more, way more straight. The thirds are in way different spots. And this one's rubbed a bunch and this one hasn't rubbed much. And this is the one we just found. Look at that dried blood. Oh, look how dark he is on this side. My gosh, that is so gorgeous. So dark. I love it. Oh yeah, the burrs are way different. So here's the burr of the first one that I found. And there's the burr of the second one that I found. Much, much different. Like I said, they're just way different in size too. This one's way has a lot more mass than that one. So these are two totally different bulls. So we've got a couple more browns in here. And I don't think that other shed hunter found them. Because they were just doing a straight line. They weren't nothing. I mean, their tracks aren't anywhere else in here. That's awesome. We'll get those on the pack. And we're going to keep looking. I just made a line a little bit down below and then there's kind of a little pocket right up here that I uh, can't see walking through here and I was like yeah these bull tracks were made when there was mud that are in here <laughs> saw that I don't I don't know that this is a brown if it is man he got busted up bad sure kind of Nope, he m might go chalk. He got kicked over probably by that bull that was walking down here, sitting like this and then bloop, that bull kicked him over when he walked down through here. So there's number three in, I don't even know, maybe 45 minutes. This is, this is going fabulous. We're gonna keep hiking. Keep looking. <laughs> and hopefully we can stumble into something else or see what happens. I well, had that hot run this morning and uh, been a little dry since. Uh, my dad met up with me and he hasn't found anything yet. Lots of sign though. 
Lots of sign. I just been zigzagging, making loops, hitting different areas. We got a nice little brown deer shed right here. That thing's cool. Right side. Oh, that's awesome. That's a nice shed. Oh, he had a some skull breakage a little bit. Pretty buck. Gorgeous colors. A little smaller. White tips. Nice eye guard on him. Really good looking shed. That's awesome. That's uh, three browns on the day. Two elk, one deer. And we still got a long ways to go. So I cut that one guy's boot tracks again after I found this uh, four point mule deer brown. And he walked the ridge down that I was wanting to walk. And I followed his boot tracks for a little bit and looks like he walked it all the way down. So I gave off, gave up on that and flipped around another way. We got a old chalky base right here. Oh, it's old chalky little, oh, little two. Three brown and two chalk. There's five on the day. That's cool. We'll just keep plugging away. Well, I've done it again. I have came back further in this area than I've ever came before. Before, the furthest was way over there on the other side of the canyon. And I was just like, man, I just want to see what this other side looks like. <laughs> and uh, maybe it paid off. We've got a... Actually, he's hard white. Yeah, he's from last year. A little... <laughs> uh. But... Maybe we can find some more stuff in here. Um, this is, I'm a ways in here. I don't know why I do this to myself, but I'm just a slow learner. So keep going. I've got what looks to be a pretty nice deer shed way down there. It's a white. Eh, it's getting a little windy. It's supposed to be blowing a storm in it's supposed to get some snow tonight I'll uh, shut this off till we get down there it's it's quite a little ways yeah it's a pretty big one but I think it's chalked out pretty bad been sitting here for a while man yeah that's Mega chalk. Darn. That stinks. That was a pretty nice one. Right side. Boy, that was a big one. He's just so chalked out. Pink chalk split off. That stinks. That's a pretty good, pretty good buck. Well, I don't know. Kind of headed back towards the truck. Then I think I want to do some more grid in some other areas. See if I can find those those uh, matches to the elk. Got a little two point up here. Little, little old <coughs> forky. Huh. I don't even know how many that is on the day. 
maybe eight. I'm not sure. Well, I figured I'd just record it when I got down here. Uh, it was a side hill and up there. Came across to old chalky ragger. Little guy. Yeah. That's, I don't know what I got, three in the truck, and then I found, so that's probably around eight or something for the day that I found. So that's pretty nice. We're just gonna keep on moving. Get up out of this, and still got a, a ways to go. But get up out of this and walk a couple different hills, see if I can match up them elk brown. The day's winding down, it's starting to get a little late. My dad went home a couple hours ago and all I know he found was a uh, small two point mule deer. And uh, I moved the truck a little bit so I could hit a spot I haven't hit yet. I've been seeing some bull tracks and looky right there. I didn't bring the pack because I was like, oh, I'm just going to do a quick hike. I probably won't find nothing anyway. <laughs> but I did. Oh, his sword's busted. Yeah. Broke off on his sword. It's a nice five. Also, didn't bring the gimbal, so I uh, kind of have some issues here. Beautiful. It's really starting to get cold. The temperatures drop quite a bit. It's supposed to snow tonight. It's already spitting a little bit. So let's get this thing going and walk just a little bit more, see what we can see. That makes uh, three elk brown on the day. So that's really awesome. I got like eight elk right there. Three of them are shed bulls, They're starting to grow back. Two of them are pretty good sized cows. And then there's probably three calves in there. And then bulls were running around and chasing each other. So, no doubt in my mind, maybe some of these antler that I found today are theirs. They, uh, because right where these guys are, I found this uh, five point with the busted sword. I don't know couple hundred yards down maybe so it could be them I wish they'd start playing again and chasing each other they don't have a clue I'm here I'm uh, 150 yards away maybe really not that far that is so cool I wish this thing zoomed in farther Peace out, everybody. Well, all right, we uh, saw those elk up that way. Well, this is really difficult without a gimbal in a pack. Up that way, so I just kind of cut off and went down the opposite way of where they were hanging out. I didn't want to bust them out. I didn't, you know, just didn't feel like it. It's like, yeah, they're playing, having fun. But it was amazing how big them two cows were compared to them little bulls. I mean, their body size just dwarfed them. So just making it through a side hill and right on my line. Looks like there's a bed right there too. There's a lot of sign in here. Another five, that's sweet. They're the same side, so it is not matches. So, 
we got more browns in here. Look at that. Oh, he's still got blood right there from when he popped off. So there's a bed right here. So I'm wondering if he dropped off in his bed. But that's a really clean bird though. Wow. This one actually kind of feels heavier than that one. So, oh yeah, there's some blood right there too. So we have two right sides. <laughs> oh. Okay. I haven't yet made it to where I found him. I found him more that way. <clears throat> so maybe those those little fellas were just hanging around in this area and just gradually making their way up. That's uh that's four elk brown on the day. That is really awesome. And there's a, a road down below me. Uh, I was going to walk the bottom out. There's a road there, and I didn't know there was a road. And there's, uh, like, razor tracks or quad tracks or something going on it. So that's why I decided to come up here and side hill. Because that bottom looked really good. This is, this is cool. This is good. All right, guys, stay tuned. <laughs> we'll see what else happens. So I know it's not the same elk because I've been going down this way. But I just kicked another one out over there. And um, may have to... And it, it looked like a bull. It was blonde. So that could be four of them in here. And I've just been holding the exact same line. And I found that five point just right up there. And I was walking down, looking way down. <laughs> I got this right beside me. Another smaller five, but we actually got a left this time. We actually got a left. So since I found that other five right up there, which would have been, no, those aren't the same. Nope, those aren't, no, he's got way more mass. Longer main beam too. Uh, no, that was got a way much longer third. Fronts are pretty close to the same though. So is that sword. <laughs> He's just got more mass too though. This guy's super, super skinny. He's got more mass also. That's a whole nether bull. So that's at least three different bulls right here. Their tracks are everywhere. Wow. So that's uh, that's five elk brown on the day. You guys have officially witnessed the most elk brown that I found in one day. Even though those are small, I don't care. The fact of the matter is, is I found them and they're mine. <laughs> so... I've still got a little bit of ways to get to the truck, so I'm just going to hold this line because I've been walking this exact line and found that one and that one. And we don't have a match yet. Well, good evening. There you have it. Um, that was a sweet day. That was an awesome day. It was, it was so much fun. You know, got into uh, those... Five elk brown and a mule deer brown and then a little mix of some other small elk and some deer. So that was pretty exciting. That was a lot of fun. Uh, we got hammered with snow that night. Um, whatever I said the date was, May 14th or 15th, something like that. Uh, we got hammered with snow 
and I wasn't able to start hiking the next day till pretty late. So kind of put the kibosh on that a little bit. So the next video will be the next day and the day after combined. Um, match up one of those brown, find another, and find a pretty flippin' sweet Shira's Moose paddle, brown one. It was nice. So got into some other things. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully you liked watching it. It's always fun getting into some browns. And um, if you'd like, give us a like. Give us a sub. Um, we'll be having 2023 stuff coming out here in probably three weeks, I'm guessing, or somewhere in there. I'm not sure yet. And sub if you want. If not, that's cool. And leave a comment if you'd like. So thank you all, and hopefully your hikes are going great.